So here we are inside the WooCommerce payment screen, and we now have PayPal Complete Payments and the Classic Payment Gateway separated. If we go into Classic, this is where we have the Classic Express Checkout, and we also have the Payments Pro stuff, PayPal Advanced, REST Credit Card, some people are still using that stuff. So we're making that all still available, and then of course we'll be trying to migrate people over. But for now, we've separated it so brand new people and anybody who does migrate will go into PayPal Complete Payments. So here's the settings for our new PayPal Complete Payments, and we'll go ahead and enable it. And we'll just use our Connect to PayPal Sandbox in this case. We'll go ahead and go through these steps for our onboarding. Once we've completed that, we come back and it shows us PayPal onboarding is successful. So then we can go through the rest of the settings here. We can see it pulled in client credentials. Um, we got our smart button, so we have different locations. So this is on product page. We can put it on the cart page. And we have all these options, you know, the settings for smart buttons for all the different locations that we might want to put it on. So we'll put it on product and cart and checkout. And then WooCommerce has a mini cart. I'll leave that off for now. We also have our PayPal pay later messaging built into this. So we'll go ahead and turn that on here and everything. I'll just leave basically the default settings for everything. Again, lots of locations for messaging, product pages, cart page, checkout pages, etc. Uh, down here, general settings, I'm going to leave the advanced credit cards off for now. Uh, we'll leave logging enabled and we'll save changes. So now we're ready on the website. We'll go look here. We can see in our shop we've got our pay later messaging showing up here. And we can go into a product and we've got our, again, pay later message showing up here as well as our smart buttons with our debit or credit card built into the smart buttons. So I'll go ahead and say add to cart so we can see the buttons here as well. Once again, pay later message showing up on our cart page at the top and the bottom. And then we have our PayPal smart buttons and the WooCommerce proceed to checkout. If we do proceed to checkout, one more time, pay later messaging and all of the billing info and everything filled out. And once again, PayPal smart buttons here. So now we'll go back and turn on advanced credit cards. So we'll just scroll down to the bottom of our settings. We'll turn that on. We've got our option for 3D Secure if we need it. I'll leave that off here for now. We'll just save changes. And if we go back to our checkout page now and refresh it, we will see the PayPal buttons, and now instead of that black button, we get the advanced credit cards. So all of that integration is working as far as displaying as expected. So since I'm here, we'll just go ahead and use the advanced credit cards, and we'll fill in a test card number and test information, place our order. Order is completed and we show up at the WooCommerce thank you page. If we go back to the admin panel in WooCommerce status, we can go to the WooCommerce logs and we now have our log file and our logs now include the PayPal debug ID as well as full response or request and response logs to go along with that. So this again would be the create order capture order for advanced credit cards. So now we'll go back and just take a look at a product page, and from here we'll go ahead and use PayPal Checkout. So like usual, we'll log in here, just do a standard checkout. Got a final review page here on the site. Our plugin, depending on how you're using it, you could skip this if you wanted to. 
um, but this just breaks down the final details that came back from PayPal. And we'll go ahead and confirm the order. And once again, we have our order received. Thank you page here. And if we go back to the log file again, now we have once again the log with our PayPal debug ID.